G'day everyone, how are we all doing? Welcome back to another movie reaction. Today we are going to be watching Scary Movie 3, which I believe was released in 2006. It once again features the same cast. It is once again, not directed, sorry, written by the... Wayne Brothers, I should say, like Marlon Wayne and everything, all that sort of thing. And this will be my first time watching. Now, this time I am not going to be intoxicated. Um, a lot of you really enjoyed me being intoxicated while watching Scary Movie 2, but a lot of you still have a problem with me not really getting some of the humor. It's not that I don't get the humor. I just personally don't find a lot of the, f um, you know, the humor and the jokes funny. That's just me personally, though. If you guys like these movies... Awesome. I'm not taking that away from you guys, but please respect my opinion whether I like or don't like a movie. But I'm really excited to watch uh, Scary Movie 3 because I'm fully aware of the fact that I believe it is a spoof of The Ring. Which, The Ring is a movie I really enjoy. I even really enjoy the original Japanese film, Ringu. So knowing that this one is a spoof of The Ring and everything, I'm very excited to give it a watch. I can't wait to see what they have to do in regards to jokes and spoofing it and everything. I'm very, very intrigued to say the least. But yeah, no, I'm really excited to watch it, guys. I hope you guys are excited to watch it with me or to at least watch my reaction and everything because these videos have to be cut down You know as per normal due to copyright reasons and everything I'm super excited to provide this video to you guys. So guys, let's sit back. Let's relax and let's watch Scary Movie 3 Cow says blank three letters Dude Dude <laughs> I was thinking fuck to go by the name of the dog, you know, saying fuck. Let me sit. Speak. Fuck. Good boy. That's stupid enough as it is too, I guess. <laughs> oh my god, turn it off. It's not working. It's backwards. What do I do? I don't know. This is what we consider comedy. Having the remote around the wrong way and they... Yep. I wish I had your shaved pussy. <laughs> Nobody's getting snowball. Oh my god. Okay. I thought they were actually talking about a vagina for a second, but that is one adorable cat. I love hairless cats. They're so fucking cute. Hello? Seven days. Run the other way. If you see a door opening like that, it's wise to run the other way. I mean, at least she closes it. She's not dumb enough to open it and see what's going on. That was a weird fucking excuse to take off your shirt to show your tits. Are you okay? Yeah. Are you okay? What an opening. What a fucking opening. Had to have that zoom in on the big old bitties. I mean, I'm a guy. I'm not complaining. Oh, fuck me head! Todd, did you hear? The dogs are acting strange. Is this meant to be signs? Is this meant to be spoofing signs? I. Man. Signs was a weird movie. It's a good movie, but. Flawed as fuck. Cornfield meaning crop field on a farmland and everything. It's definitely going to be signs. What are you doing out here? You're very sick. What's wrong? You replaced a random young blonde with my Abigail Breslin. How dare you? I wonder what they're trying to tell us. That your green screen is shit? <laughs> Just a little bit on the nose. But I'd rather stick with a crop circle story. Oh, come on, you know those things are just a hoax. No, I'm telling you, I sense something about that cornfield. Call it women's intuition or ESPN or both. But I can tell when danger's near. I just... Ah! 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 You obviously can't tell when the studio microphones are around from set. Maybe walk around the microphone or maybe the boom operator should lift up the fucking mic. It was just 10 minutes of topless women. I mean, come on. Wow. Why are these so interesting? Oh my god, from the first movie in her hairy flat chest, she got a bit of a fucking upgrade. For your information, this hip-hop thing's gonna get me paid. You just hate me because I'm black. Ex fucking excuse me? You're as white as they fucking come, my dear boy. 
it's about to turn into hereditary all over again. All we need is a fucking, you know, pole. Cody. Wait again, Aunt Cindy. Oh my I'm god, so there's the kid for the fucking, um, the ring thing. It's the annoying little shit from the ring. The worst part of that movie. And an even worse part in the ring, too. You know, I just haven't found the right guy. I'm looking for something more than just good sex. I mean, like, same, though. I mean, sex isn't everything. Although it is good. Uncle George! Hey, sweetie, come here. How are ya? Oh. No, she's not gonna fall for this guy. Oh, no. You don't dress like a farmer. My brother's the farmer. I'm the rapper. And here's the 611 on that. Oh, no, please don't. Please don't. Please fucking don't. So, I'll be doing the rap battle at the 23 Club tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't believe this shit. And I will not fucking be there. I am not fucking coming. Fuck you. End your rap. Yo, who the fuck? Where the fuck did that come from? What the? Are the pens alright? From now on, I'm gonna be thinking about you 24-7. Damn! <laughs> she left the kid behind. I was about to say, hang on, you need the pen. The way the kid fucking flopped. It reminded me of fucking Call of Duty Ragdoll Physics. It's fucking 10 out of 10. Father Muldoon. Cindy. I'm so grateful you could come. Oh. A priest and a fucking child in the same room. This can only go fucking well. Could you rub this lotion on his little bottom? No. Apply it liberally. No. 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 Don't let him near his little bottom ever. Please, no. The priest will be doing the fuck, the fuck, the fuck. Hey, look. Before we get on with the battles tonight, I got a couple announcements to make. Are we really spoofing Eight Mile here as well? When did Eight Mile come out? Holy fuck! This is a spoof of Eight Mile as well. Oh my god! Eight Mile. Great fucking film, by the way. Oh my god, he's meant to be fucking Eminem. He's about to fucking spit some bars. Yo, 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 George, what's up? It's the man with the tightest rap game what's up, on the streets, baby. What's good? What's Kevin Hart to Dwayne Johnson every single time he sees him. Ready to bust a cap in any white boy's ass who ain't bringing that shit. Yeah, at least. Yeah. Oh my god, it's Kevin. It is Kevin Hart! I had no idea it was fucking Kevin Hart. That was just probably back a coincidental. <laughs> My aunt Shaniqua used to live over there, man. But that bitch got evicted, though. I had no idea that was Kevin Hart when I said that before. That's fucking amazing. Kevin Hart, man, I fucking love you. Head to tail, playboy, what's it gonna be? You cannot escape your fate in the streets. God damn, I fucking hate rap. Please shut it the fuck off. Yo, what do we think? <gasps> I thought you were both absolutely dreadful. Yes! Simon Cowell, my man! Club is totally pathetic. Yes, it is. Simon Cowell. My <laughs> Did you just shoot down my fucking man, Simon Cowell? What the f- Why? My hero! This guy's can't be serious right here. Stand and mini me, aka, I hope he ain't the one you fight with. I already hate it. Please stop. Please fucking stop. This is too much. I absolutely fucking hate it. Dawn, the city slicker. Forget cows and milk your mom to titty bigger. Eminem is way fucking better. Oh shit. Oh damn. Oh, put that down. The hood. Oh. The hood. Hey, yo, we're in the hood now. No. No, 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 lose the hood. Oh no, he's about to get fucking shot. He looks like a Ku Klux Klan, Klan member. Oh. No! Oh! Yeah, that's fucking earned. Dude, you will not be invited back. Jesus Christ. Oh, you look like a KKK member. You watch it, and as soon as it's over, your phone rings, and a creepy voice says, You're gonna die in seven days. No, it doesn't say that. It says, Seven days. Not, you're gonna die in seven days. Tampon and shove it up her fucking nose. That'll do the trick. 
Oh, you're gonna die now, bitch. I don't like you, Brenda. Just fuck off. Thank God Shorty's not here yet. I hope he's just not in it at all. Here's an idea. Just fucking unplug the thing. If you unplug the thing, it won't turn on. Alright, she just did. Oh, right on. It still turns on. Here's an idea. Just fucking tip the TV over onto the screen. Alright, that's actually not a bad fucking effect. I'll give them credit. That actually looks pretty good. Little ugly bitch. <laughs> Why did no one else think of this and fucking the ring? Just suck a bunch of the bitch and hold her head back. Just hold it back. She can't grab ya. <laughs> that was a weird fucking edit. Can I? Uh, huh? I wanted to see what Brenda looked like. My sweet, sweet Brenda. She looks so peaceful. So peaceful. So unnecessary. What the flying fuck is going on? All right, this one I don't find funny. This is just fucking over the top and wacky. <laughs> Oh. My. God. Her entire body- That's it! It's the last time I try to bring anyone back from the dead! You shouldn't try to bring anyone back anyway! But I give you credit for this! You fucking failed splendidly and made someone's body completely implode. And you've now traumatized countless people around you. Nice. I- I commend you, my dude. Okay, when your friend talks to you about a tape that kills you and you find an inconspicuous tape among their belongings after they died because of said tape, how dumb can you be to still grab that tape and fucking watch it? How dumb can you be to grab it and watch it? Like, what the... I understand it's a spoof movie, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry. I still understand. Charlie Chaplin directed this. This is a great silent movie. 10 out of 10, IGN. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely a 10 out of 10, IGN. Charlie Chaplin would be proud. Seven days, you daddy fucker. What? Billy Mays? Hi, Billy Mays here with another fantastic product. Can you hear me now? Yes, perfect. Seven days. That was definitely Charlie Sheen. That was Charlie Sheen's voice. The priest living on the farm for the signs bullshit is behind it all. Calling it right now. Say, man, I'm signing you up for another rap battle. Aholic, I told you that part of my life is over. But I said the same thing about getting with CJ's sister. But look at me. I'm still hitting He's that. still hitting it, man. And she finding shit. That's my sister. What? That felt personal to him because he probably had that happen to him because of Dwayne. Hey, you gotta try this shit, George. Huh. <laughs> I commend that a lot. Fucking cyclists. In Australia, they're absolute pests. We use them as speed bumps if we can. I'm great with kids. Heads up, Cody. Ugh. Didn't fucking prophesize that, you little shit. That a boy. Whoa! <laughs> that kid went flying. That kid flew. Cody really likes you. Oh, he's a good kid. Yeah. Speaking of Cody, there he is, walking in like he was in the deep forest of Jumanji. Antoniqua? Bingo. But you can call me the Oracle. And I am telling you, you are not the one. Fuck off, Tom. You are not Neo. <laughs> Next video, man. I am starting it up. With that goddamn fucking sound effect, just like after the Thanks Killing video. Except it's gonna be me walking into the frame and sitting down. Do you mind? The Lakers will win by 12. <laughs> you just ruined Morpheus' day. Look, it's a cigarette. I was going to say Lighthouse. 
Man, no, you all making me crave a cigarette, and I've been quitting. I've been doing so well, too. Don't make me crave a ciggy. Oh, baby, no! Kill her! It's so crazy! It's so crazy! Yeah, yeah. baby! <laughs> what you gonna cool rush now? Mm -hmm. What you gonna mm -hmm. rush now, huh? <laughs> Cody and I were playing a fun game, and then I looked down and... <gasps> Yahtzee! Oh, he had... Again! No! <gasps> he watching that on? Legit, if Samara came out of that thing, she'd be small enough for me to just fucking stomp the bitch. Just fucking curb stomp her. Hello? It's me. How you doing? When I got back here, it's 5 30 in the morning and I went to sleep. Something weird is going on at your farm. I know it. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Sometimes a sheep just needs to be pushed through the fence. What? Huh? Wait, is he talking about fucking the sheep? That's what New Zealanders do. Let's take it away their fucking pride. Charlie Sheen, I'll let you get ahead. I'll give you a hint. Get a bucket of water. I am your daughter. No, you're not. <laughs> you're fucking Michael Jackson. Oi. <laughs> Michael Jackson got the fucking fighting skills here. There was his fucking nose. Uh, plastic surgery would be like, no. Nah. Tom, are you. What in the world? Did Michael Jackson just shed skin like a fucking snake or a reptile? Fuck, it all makes sense. He's an alien. <laughs> who runs into no trespassing signs, apparently. Good fucking job, you dick. <laughs> no more paranoid on-air rants about the supernatural. It's five miles from the spot where the last naked couple was brutally murdered. Turning now to sports. And an evil videotape that kills anyone who watches it in seven days. It's true. We're all in danger. Very, very fucking clever, Cindy. That is one way to fucking do it. I give you a lot of fucking credit. But I've been waxing his bitch's ass for 12. Know what I'm saying, Nick? Oh, I can't, I can't use that word. That's slang. That's a really bad racial slur that cannot be included in the video. YouTube would demonetize. Oh, fuck no. Oh, she going, doing some researchy type shit like in the, the ring. That would make sense, actually. She's researching the lighthouse location. Free your mind. You were in an alternate reality known as... Matrix. Oh my god, it literally is the fucking scene from Matrix Reloaded. Fucking Patrick, stop predicting shit before it fucking happens. You have many questions. Oh, fuck's sake. The answer is simple. You are the eventuality of an anomaly. You are inexorably seeking a sedulent probability. Sedulent. Grotesquery? No. What about contingent affirmation? Oh my god, it's just as fucking pretentious as the Matrix. Shut up! Fuck's sake, I've had enough of this already. I had enough re-watching The Matrix recently. I don't want to listen to it fucking here. Jesus Christ, so pretentious and just in your fucking face. I never meant for it to get out, but... But what? I put it in the wrong box and return it to Blockbuster. Yeah, I've already fucking heard all this mumbo-jumbo fucking moving on. Let's see that again. Those are two very horny dogs. Very disturbing. Yeah, definitely. It just reminds me of... What is it? The dog from fucking Transformers humping it up in the fucking doghouse. Oh, there. Nobody's getting through that sucker. That's great, George, but we have to get down to the cellar. Well, that proved the fucking wooden board's completely ineffective. Tried to call. No, he didn't. Okay, but I was gonna. No, he wasn't. <laughs> I fucking love this kid. I love Cody. He's such a little shit, but I wish I had his ability to be able to tell people the fucking truth about everything and prophesize and all that shit. Best superpower ever. My, oh, imagine the amount of shit I would never have to waste my time on again. Did I ever tell you what your mom said about you the day you were born? Oh, I don't want this anymore. <laughs> Sounded like a fucking balloon going. Jamming okay, against the door. Balls. Yeah, that would have fuck it. Oh my god. Can you see him? Where are they going? Oh. 
They're grayish with big black eyes. No. That, okay, I can't fucking sh- Yuck. That is gross. Please don't do that. Oh my god, their nipples are getting hard. Oh. Oh. Swing away, George. I'm coming, Cody. I'll save you. Die! I mean, I think the kid kind of fucking deserves it, I'm not gonna lie, just good. Kill the kid. Kill the kid. Kill the kid. Nice. What are you doing here? Why the flying fuck are you here? I genuinely thought that would be a priest trying to grab Cody. I say all the women and children stay here. This kid, man, he deserves it, the little shit, but he's getting beaten up so fucking bad. He got fucking baseball bats to the face, a shovel to the face, he's been thrown out of windows and everything. Fucking hell. Follow me. Did you just fucking look and load a shovel? I need one! <laughs> oh, fuck off, Mr. President. Ah, good. The Air Force is here with those new round planes. That, 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 those are UFOs, you dumbass. I fucking hate this so much, especially because of the copyrighted music. Please don't copyright me, YouTube. Please, for the love of fucking Christ, be nice. This shit right now. Your mom. I got your number two, hey, homie. We over here, y'all. Yo, he ain't gonna bust nothing. I got nuts bigger than you, yo. I'm a postable, you country ass maple syrup. Hey, y'all want some biscuits? You want some biscuits? Look, I understand this is meant to be funny, and I know a lot of people probably find this funny, but to me, this just acts as filler and draws out the runtime so it can make feature length, because in reality, it serves no other purpose. It's. Not very funny, in all honesty, this part. Think they must have some kind of weakness. Here's an idea. Grab fucking water. Hello. 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 Well, how do you guys say goodbye? Oh. oh. It's not the baby maker. He died right here. <gasps> Uh oh, the marbles, this is about to turn into a fucking Home Alone situation. There's something down there. Oh. Oh! Is this like an Evil Dead th There's an Evil Dead thing. Because of the cellar, in the basement, and it's just- <laughs> Fuck. Give the kid a break! A little girl. She's frightened in the well. Oh! Hi, friend! How you fucking doing? You fucking trick, bitch! You fucking jabated. <laughs> ah! She's like a motherfucking daylight. Jump it off! Tabitha, I know what your mom did. No, it's wrong. It's fucking Samara, not Tabitha. Fuck you, Cindy. Maybe all you need is a mother and a father. Oh, that's actually kind of sweet. I still don't like you, though, dude. Feck off. Thank you all. I'll never have to kill again. Oh, yeah. I'm just screwing with you. Oh, thank God. I was going to say that. I just want to tell you both good luck. Right. And I think she's dead now. She went down the fucking well. She's probably drowning. Yeah. Um, that was so bloody abrupt. What the hell? Thank you for saving our species. Now we must return to our home planet. Goodbye, then. <laughs> Today, more extraterrestrial probing. Can you please bend over? I got something to shove up your ass. Ah! Charlie Sheen's a priest again! Go figure. That fucking fits. Oh, George. <laughs> I'm so happy. Finally, we're a family. Yeah. You, me, and... Damn! <laughs> they fucking forgot the kidding. Oh, no! Oh, no! Damn it! Wait. Yes! Perfect way to end it. You know what? I actually enjoyed that way more than I thought I would. I'm not gonna fucking lie. Well, that was Scary Movie 3, or 3.5, I should say. That's apparently the extended edition I watched. Um, you know what, though? I didn't like Scary Movie 2, 
But I actually had a pretty good time with that one. It had some good jokes. It perfectly spooked. What is it? The Ring and multiple other movies out there like The Matrix and um, what is it? Signs and all that sort of fucking shit. Like it worked really, really fucking well for this movie and the jokes for the most part did land. I did find it a pretty funny film. There are a few moments here and there like the rap battle shit with like 8 Mile and there's some very awkward cringy stuff at the end that just feels a little bit bloated drawing out the runtime so that it meets feature length so it could be released in theaters and everything. But, you know what, not taking it seriously or anything, not trying to dissect it, it is a fun movie that I actually had a pretty good time with and did make me laugh a lot more than Scary Movie 2. I find this to be a much funnier, a much more entertaining movie than Scary Movie 2. Is it better than Scary Movie 1? No, not in my opinion, but I still think it's a damn entertaining movie and I, I can't wait to continue and watch Scary Movie 4 because I believe, if I'm not mistaken, Scary Movie 4 is a spoof on Saw. So, that'll be a really fun one, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this movie reaction to Scary Movie 3. I had an absolute blast watching this one. This was much better than Scary Movie 2. If you did enjoy this video, do be sure to follow me on social media, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Twitch to watch my live streams and keep updated for your content coming on this channel. Do be sure to click the subscribe button and the bell to get notified when new videos are up every single week. And I'll see you all in the next video. Take care.